dark matter is a kind of a sculptural trinity in a sense that you have three different elements that are normally contradictory. You have a square, a circle, and an hexagon that are totally flat shaped that you see resulting or appearing from one unique volume. So you have like one thing that has a, of a greater order that is three-dimensional that presents you three flat facets that you, of which you cannot basically perceive the volume. So it's embodying different or multiple kind of contradictory realities or truths into one higher order object. So the piece basically is uh, unifying or embodying different contradictory uh, objects, like a reality. You see both a circle, a square, an hexagon, which are flat shapes, and they are integrated in the same volume, in something that you cannot quite understand. It's quite, uh, quite complex, but it appears to you very different according to the different way you perceive it. The piece really comes from um, looking at the society and the world we live in, uh, in the sense that we live in a world that where everybody is ready to accept multiple truths, like everything can go. And what we are trying to see is that if behind those multiple reality or the multiple ways of seeing the world, if there is not something kind of a higher principle, something that would unify those different facets, a little bit as if. You, you, you know, like all the model we have, like the way of inquiring about the world, gives us different perspectives that are often contradictory. And what we're wondering is that if behind that there is not something that is synthetic, that is more unified, that we perhaps uh, cannot completely understand. I think on another level, it probably also mirrors in some way our practice and the way we work together, where we are working as three different people and looking at the same uh, issues or uh, subject matters in three very different ways but still there is somewhere like a unifying factor to all of that. What interests us is um, sort of the models that we set up and we, I mean we, but also uh, most people in general um, that help us navigate through life. Um, it's very hard for most people to live with uncertainty and certain uh, models, whether they're religious or, or scientific, help us to, to guide us through that uncertainty. Um, so uncertainty or finding some kind of certainty is a strong element in many of our pieces, but also dark matter. What I think we are quite interested in if, is how, but then sometimes mistakes, these models for actual reality. So, uh, for example, in dark matter we take that further and uh, use these to create actually this ambiguity where they're in first instant introduced to explain the world to us. In, in our approach we look mainly at the world we live in. It's a mainly a kind of social, societal approach to 
um, to try to understand how we figure out what the world is made of or you know like the great metaphysical question that we all have and what we see is that you, you're looking uh, we're looking a lot at the different trajectories you know like people reveal truth through science they reveal truth through faith they're often very contradictory and very you know they put in in polar you know opposites all the time what we're trying to find is like if there is a possible synthesis between those things can you be uh, you know religious and rational can you be uh, you know doing art in a, in a, in a you know logical manner can science be subjective um, so instead of like trying to like put things in box which is like you know the pre premise of modernism or like postmodernism who accepts everything we're trying to re reconnect those two and try to find if there is not something higher than that a greater order that would synthesize those things we met at art school and um, already there collaborated, uh, made individual work, but lived together at that point, so already started a dialogue, uh, and dialogue concerning each other's work, but then also projects that we work together. We lived together um, during our study and it just grew quite naturally. So for the past 10 years we have always, on a daily basis, been discussing our separate thoughts and projects and I think the dialogue just became almost as important as the well the physical outcome that is visible here or otherwhere. This kind of idea of collaborating together of the collective is also very important to us because it joins, uh, it, you know, it's a manifestation, it's a way of working out in the process the kind of idea we're exploring with three people with like different sensitivity and the question becomes like how do you synthesize that, how you grow bigger than the individual and that's a very interesting uh, process which you can see in most of the uh, the way we work so that is uh, what I mean is like we we work from the concept down to the to, to the making the, 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 the artwork in, in a very um, iterative pro process that uh, mix this kind of kind of very logical uh, way of thinking to a very kind of analog subjective dirty um, kind of more intuitive process and this is what we we're trying to refine uh, through each work we've, we've been doing. <laughs>